Hey everybody. This is my red clawed crab tank, despite the fact that we can't see a single red clawed crab in the video anywhere. I've been waiting for a little while to see if anybody came back out, but I was just in here doing a little bit of tinkering around, and I think I've got all the crabs spooked and the water's a little bit clouded up. But while I was sitting here, I uh, just wanted to talk about this tank a little bit and shoot a little bit of video about it. I really enjoy this tank. I really like it a lot. I like the variety between the fish and the crabs, and I know there's none out, so it makes it kind of hard to talk about them. But the crabs are really active in this tank, and it's just a really interesting little tank. And I was fiddling around with it a little more today, and I changed it up once again. The moss that was in there had all been devoured and was just a few little rotten and tattered pieces here and there so one of the things I did was I went out and I got some more of that sedum from out in the yard and I put that in there and I don't know how well the color is coming out but it's already flowering so you've got those nice pretty yellow flowers on there and even down in the water you can see how it's curled upwards and is starting to come up out of the water towards the light and it won't last long you can already see a piece of it right there that's come broken loose and detached and they've been eating on that you can see it's flowering as well I also put I feel like everybody's gonna get a whiplash from going back and forth I also put some more moss back behind the wood back there uh, all that moss had been uh, torn up and gone and I was tinkering around with the rock that makes my waterfall. That's the main thing I wanted to talk about with this tank. It's a very changeable tank. Not only can I change the way I've got the plants and everything in there, which I do on a fairly regular basis, uh, I can move the rocks around and that sort of stuff, but I can also adjust this waterfall quite a bit. In addition to being able to adjust the flow of water from full flow, what it is now, in fact, let's see if we can uh, tinker with it a little bit here on camera. I wasn't actually planning on doing this, but we'll see if we can. So this is full flow. That's about half flow. And that's pretty much as low as I can make it. So if I turn it up just enough to get the water onto that rock, you see how the water is now flowing down the rock and flowing in front of where we can see rather than behind everything, which is where that waterfall or where the, uh, the outlet of the filter is actually behind that rock. The water has to come out and forward somewhat to hit that rock and when it does it then runs down the rock and drips off the front and of course the more force we give it and the more water we put over it the more vigorous it becomes but it still runs across the face of that rock and down and off of the rock let me switch my hands around again a moment so what's important about this rock is it's at a slight angle this way We've got this curved line and sort of point here, and it's also rounded this way. So all of those features of that rock give it a distinct personality as far as the way the water flows over it, runs off of it. Um, you know, it, it just changes the way it looks, the way it sounds even. And I just ran outside and I picked up a few other small rocks. And I just wondered what these might do if I either add them in addition to or instead of. So we've got this one, I think has a lot of potential. It's very thin, lightweight. I could set it back. I could even set it under that rock so it creates a further extension sticking out. Uh, that's a possibility. We've got this one, which is a little bigger and thicker. This would definitely be something that would be up there sort of on its own but with this contour and that edge I think that would give us a very interesting flow if we could get it so that the water was flowing off of this end of it it would also push the water off to the right rather than off to the left 
I know it's not coming out really well in this light. So that one, and then I have this one, which is also very long, very flat on this side, but curved on this side with grooves and textures in it. So once again, you know, oops, sorry, fish, um, that might be interesting to have the water flowing across that. So I'm not going to do it in this video. I will do a video about that, uh, especially if you're interested. If anybody wants me to see, you know, to see a video with me changing it up and, and doing different stuff with the waterfall, let me know. Uh, I probably will do it anyway, but I would be interested to hear your thoughts about that. And it's just one of those things with a little bit of creativity and some time and a little bit of tinkering around. You can really take an existing tank and without doing much at all, you can really shift the feel. Uh, you can also do the same thing with lighting a lot of times. You can just make some subtle adjustments to the lighting, uh, the color temperature, how much lighting, where you've got it, you know, how the shadows are falling and what's being highlighted by the light versus what's being shadowed. And, you know, you can change the depth and the texture of the tank by making some simple adjustments like that. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do in addition to changing the volume of the water that comes out of that waterfall, um, changing the different rocks that it flows across and getting uh, a different feel for how it looks. So make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss any of that or anything else I got coming up. I'm always doing something down here uh, and it's usually always something pretty interesting or pretty good. So you make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss it. Don't forget, this is my red clawed crab tank. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.